Here's the fifth and last of the statistical applications. This one involves the United States House of Representatives turnover percentages. And as you can see from the table below, you have decades that run from the 1870s to the 1980s. And the mean turnover percentages are given here. Well, because the U.S. House of Representatives has an election every two years, these mean turnover percentages here are the average of five different turnover percentages. So in some ways, there is going to be more stability in these numbers because they're averages of five numbers. Now on the next page, you will see that one thing that is done occasionally is a simple linear regression model is set up. And in this case, X is going to be the decade and Y is going to be the turnover percentage. If you look at the previous page, these numbers appear to be headed downwards. And so sometimes when that's the case, if it is a linear relationship, then you might have a model that looks like this. Now this A term will be the intercept for the regression line. And B will be the slope of the regression line. X is often known as an independent variable. Y is known as a dependent variable. And epsilon is known as an error term. Sometimes it's of interest to run what's known as a hypothesis test. And in this case, we might be interested in wondering whether or not the slope is zero. This H0 has a special name. It is known as a null hypothesis. And in this case, we're going to assume that the decade has nothing to do with the mean turnover percentage. In other words, the uh, relationship between X and Y would be basically a horizontal line. And what we're trying to show here is H1, which is often called an alternative hypothesis. And sometimes in addition to being called H1, it is also called H sub A. But in either case, it's known as an alternative hypothesis. And in this case, we're trying to determine whether that slope of the regression line might be negative. So that's going to be done on the next page. And here is some R code to achieve that. The first thing that's done is the decade, rather than going from 1870 to uh, 1980, we just assign the integers 1 through 12 for the various decades. So this is a vector that contains the first 12 positive integers. Then turnover is another vector. It also has 12 elements, but these 12 elements are the 12 mean turnover um, percentages. And then when plot is called with decade on the x-axis and turnover on the y-axis, you get these 12 dots here. So that is known as a scatter plot of the data. And when you look at those 12 values, you do see that there is a somewhat of a linear relationship. Maybe it's a little, a little more of a quadratic relationship. But in any case, um, you can fit this using the uh, um, R function called LS fit. That stands for least squares fit. By the way, there is a more uh, general and better package to use if you want to use the uh, the function LM, which stands for linear model. But in any case, if you use LS fit and you use decade as the uh, independent variable and turnover as the dependent variable, sitting inside of REG will be the slope and intercept that are estimated for this regression line. Finally, if you call the AB line with REG extracting the coefficients, you will get this line plotted right here. And at least visually, it looks like, in fact, the um, slope is negative for that regression line. And there may be a couple explanations for that. You always like to go beyond just the, uh, the statistics and look for an explanation. One explanation with these points up here 
is that people didn't live as long back then. And when they didn't live as long back then, they couldn't serve as many terms in the U.S. House of Representatives. And it's also possible that back then people would get elected to the House of Representatives. They would go serve a term or two, and then they would return to the jobs that they came from. Whereas now you can see there's more of what you would call a career politician, where once they get into the House of Representatives, they stay there for a long, long time. And so that ends this fifth application, which is the U.S. House of Representatives turnover percentage and what's called simple linear regression was used in this particular um, application.